Now at 4 o'clock, two teenagers are in the hospital after a shooting on the American Tobacco Trail in South Durham. Sky 5 flying live right now over the scene as police comb through the scene looking for evidence. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lena Tillette. And I'm Dan Haggerty. This shooting happened near the intersection of Riddle Road and Fayetteville Street in Durham. We just showed you a moment ago that was live coverage, but it has been active there for hours, and we've been taking a look at this scene since about 1 o'clock today. That's the video you're seeing now. WRAL's Durham reporter Sarah Kruger was first on the scene. She joins us now live after speaking with people on the ground. Sarah, what are you learning? Lena, three hours since this shooting, and there is still a lot going on here. This is a very sprawling scene that goes all the way down Riddle Road and then even extends to the right there into those woods behind some offices. The shooting was just around the corner from Hillside High School, and right now police say they cannot tell me if the two teenage boys who were shot are students there or not. Police say one of them has injuries that are life-threatening. The other was less seriously hurt. This all happened right behind a building with two dentist offices. I spoke with one of those dentists. She's a mom of two, which makes all of this especially hard to process. It just really makes my heart very sad. I'm, I'm, I'm really emotional about it. That's why I'm, you know, trying to leave and, um, you know, just go and just get my thoughts together because it was just a, um, it's just heartbreaking for, you know, anyone to, to, to go through this in a community as, as, as nice as Durham. I spoke off camera with another employee in this area who said she saw some of the shooting as she was about to head out the door to lunch. She described hearing about 10 gunshots and seeing kids with backpacks running, even another kid, as she called him, putting the gun into his waistband. I have asked police if they have made any arrests. They told me they could not talk about that right now. Now, we've seen a lot of things going on out here, a lot of investigating. There's been a canine out here as well as dozens of officers searching this area quite extensively. I asked police for what they are looking. They said evidence. They would not elaborate beyond that if they had recovered a weapon or anything of that nature. We will stay out here and stay on top of this to bring you the very latest. Lena. Wow, quite the scene. You can understand that doctor's emotion as well. Sarah Kruger reporting live for us. Thank you. And not far from where Sarah was reporting live, we have Eric Miller. He is at Hillside High School, very close to where this shooting happened. Eric, give us the vantage point from there and what you know. Yeah, Dan, where Sarah's standing, that is about a block and a half up the road here, Fayetteville Street in Durham Hillside High School. Just behind me, the last Durham police officers and Durham County Sheriff's deputies finally left the school just a few minutes ago as we were standing here after a very tense afternoon for students and parents. You take a look at some of this video. This was right around 3 o'clock when those students were finally taken off secure status. Both Hillside High School as well as WG Pearson Elementary, they were both placed on secure status. Students kept inside. Parents lined up waiting, uh, wondering what was going on, whether their kids were okay, whether their kids were safe. It was a very tense two hours uh, for some of the folks who were stand, who were standing outside, who were waiting in their cars. I spoke to one woman, the grandmother of a Hillside High School senior. She tells me she picks up her granddaughter every single day. This is not the first time that she has been left waiting out front because of secure status, because of a lockdown, and she called it ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. Um, you know, us as parents, we're, we're just, you know, fed up. We're fed up. Yeah, and you see Tamara Perry there reunited with her granddaughter after that secure, secure status was lifted. Her granddaughter, thankfully okay, and just wanting to go home. Now, Perry said that while she was sitting there, she saw officers leading someone out of a school in handcuffs. We're checking in with DPD uh, to see if they can give us any more information on who that might have been, whether there have been any arrests made. Again, such a stressful day for students, for parents, for grandparents, for everyone at these two schools. So close to the scene of this shooting. Back Absolutely, to you. in that community as well. Eric Miller reporting live for us. Thank you. Keep us up to speed. How many people can relate to what that yeah. grandmother was saying? Uh, we've been showing you the images from Sky 5, some live shots for you right now, but we have been above this scene pretty much since it first happened. Photojournalist Jamie Munden live in Sky 5 for us. Jamie, what are you seeing? Dan, we're seeing uh, a lot of the same activity that we've that we've seen since this happened uh, early this afternoon. The uh, Durham Police Department does have their mobile command center 
here on site. So we do know that that means that there are a lot of detectives that are out here and they're working, combing through this area and trying to, um, you know, gather evidence and talk to witnesses. Earlier in the day, we did see them speaking to four uh, younger adult males, or I shouldn't say young adult males. They could be young adults to maybe older teenagers. We weren't really sure. We saw them. They didn't appear to be in custody, but they were. They had them in the back of the police cruisers and, and were speaking with them. And here's part of the uh, trail that we're talking about. And, and if we look closely here, this is behind that dentist office. We can finally see that there are evidence markers out here. There is crime scene tape up. So obviously this is where they're working and where they're focusing their efforts right now to, to try to gather as much uh, evidence and information as they can to figure out what happened with those two uh, teenagers that were shot earlier today, Dan. All right, well, Jamie. quick question for yeah. you though, Jamie. So Sarah said that she asked the Durham Police Department what evidence they were looking for. Have you seen uh, police leave with any bags or anything outside of those evidence markers you have seen on the ground? No, Lena, we haven't seen any of that at this point. We've been uh, up and down some as far as the helicopter goes, as Sky 5 goes, because we had to refuel at different times. So well, we're going to keep a, an eye on it now. And I haven't seen uh, the forensic folks that are the normal kind of crime scene investigators that you see that come out and take pictures and gather up that evidence. We have not seen them here yet, uh, to our knowledge. So, But we will keep an eye on it and keep you posted if we see anything. You bet. All right, Jamie, thank you so much. Our live team coverage on this breaking story will continue throughout the evening. We'll also have the latest developments on WRAL.com.